up on these. Um, one thing though is that we did round to 0.85, so if you use the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to be off just a bit from what we got here, but you would be close. Alright, so let's take a look at this application problem. It says from a position 240 feet above the ground, as we're shown here, an observer in a building measures angles of depression, so those are angles opening downward from the horizontal, of 10 degrees and 42 degrees. So the top and bottom of a smaller building use, use this to find, typo, <laughs> the height h of the smaller building. Okay, so there are, this is a, a, an application problem. There are several ways you could set this up. Um, I will show you one way to set it up and solve it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, now, we don't have much comparison over here on this side. Uh, we, what we want to do is form a right triangle. So I'm actually going to form the right triangles on this side with my H. Okay. Then we need to fill in um, what the different heights are. Well, we know that this side, since it's even with this over here, um, is 240. Okay. But if we're dealing with just this section right here, um, it would be the full 240 minus the H. It's what's left over after you have the height of this building, right? It's the full 240 minus this gray section. Okay, but we're going to go one step at a time. Okay, let's start with this smaller triangle here. And I'm going to redraw it up here just so we have a better look. Okay, so for that smaller triangle, oh, that is ugly. Hold on just a second. Okay, so this is our small right triangle that we have on the top section here. The angle of the opening here is 10 degrees. Um, the length of this side was 240 minus H. Um, and what we're going to do, I'm just going to call this side Y. We're going to have to introduce another variable here in order to solve this problem. Um, the next thing we want to do is form an equation with this information. We have our 10 degree angle. We have 240 over H and our Y. And to form that equation, we're going to use trig ratios. Um, so for our angle, notice we have the opposite and the adjacent side. We do not know the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, We know the opposite and the adjacent side. Well, what uses opposite and adjacent? That is the tangent. So remember, tangent of an angle is the opposite side over the adjacent side. I'm abbreviating there. So let's put our information into that to form an equation. Tangent of our angle, which was 10 degrees, equals the opposite side, and the side opposite was length 240 minus whatever h is, over our adjacent side, which we called y. All right. Now let's deal with our larger rectang or rectangle triangle. Okay. Or you're dealing now with the full triangle. So notice we have a 42 degree angle here. Um, the entire height is 240. It's, the, it's our other building there. Um, and then notice they have the same length here, both triangles. This would be Y. Okay, so I'm going to redraw that triangle over here. Again, same length here on both triangles. Um, but this height here is 240, and my angle in this case is 42 degrees. Again, we can use tangent because notice we have the opposite and adjacent side for our given angle. So let's write that out. The tangent of our angle, 42, should equal the opposite side, 240, over the adjacent side, y. Okay, from here we need to set up some sort of equation. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve each of these for y, and I'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll start with this one here. I'm going to multiply both sides by y to get it out of the denominator there. 
okay? And I have y times the tangent of 42 equals 240. Okay, next I have y times the tangent 42. I'm trying to get y by itself because if I can do that, then I'll be able to set the two equations equal. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by the tangent of 42. And I have y is equal to 240 divided by the tangent of 42. Okay. All right, over here on this side, we're going to do a similar thing. We want to get this equation with y all by itself. We'll do the same thing, multiply both sides by y to get it out of that denominator. And that leaves me with y times the tangent of 10 equals 240 minus h. And then I would have to divide both sides by the tangent of 10. Okay. So I have now a second equation. I'll write it up here. y is also equal to 240 minus h over the tangent of 10. Now notice they are both y, so we can use kind of substitution here. y is not only 240 minus h over tangent 10, it's also 240 over the tangent of 42. They are both equivalent, so we can set the two equal to one another. Okay, so we can set 240 minus h over the tangent of 10, okay, our value of y here, we can set that equal to 240 over the tangent of 42. Our job here is to solve for h, okay, that's what we wanted all along is the value of h, right, I'm going to use, leave my tangents just as tangents for now and not calculate them so I don't have to worry about rounding. Um, here I have two equivalent fractions, so we can cross multiply. Okay, that gives me the tangent of 42 times 240 minus h, the whole thing, equals 240 times the tangent of 10. I'm solving for h, so I have to get it out of that parenthesis there. I'm going to distribute here to remove the parentheses. That gives me 240 times the tangent of 42 minus h times the tangent of 42 equals 240 times the tangent of 10. Now, this is basic algebra, but with all of these new things in it, it makes it more complicated. Okay, so hang in there. So here we go. Let's keep going. We are, Again, we're trying to get h by itself, and it's right here. So I need to remove this 240 tangent 42. It's positive. So if I subtract it from both sides, now I cannot combine those because one is 240 tangent 10, the other is 240 tangent 42. So what I have is negative h tangent 42, my left hand side, equals 240 tangent 10 minus 240 tangent 42. The only thing I have left is h is multiplied by tangent 42 and it's multiplied by a negative. So I'm going to divide by the negative tangent 42 on both sides and that is my answer. All I need is a calculator to work all of that out. So I do know that h is 240 times the tangent of 10 minus 240 times the tangent of 42, all divided by negative tangent 42. And calculate those carefully if you need to calculate each part one at a time and write them down, and then do your final calculation, subtract and divide, that's just fine, because um, the keystrokes on that can be quite lengthy. But when you do, you should get the height is 193. Um, the measurements were in feet. Okay, so a pretty long process there, but we were able to do it.